Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. As you can see, I've been banished to the man cave uh, by the good lady wife. Actually come to think of it, am I allowed to call it a man cave? Um, perhaps I should go and self-identify and uh, reclassify it. But uh, anyway, I'm here and we've got yet another parcel from China. Uh, in my previous videos, you'll, you'll recall that I said I had nothing from... Uh, China for months and months and months and all of a sudden five parcels turn up at once all of which were different uh, ordered in um, different weeks different months even so uh, anyway um, this is the next one and it's from a company called 4DRC and it says here just four dreams so what we've got here it's actually called the F3 and it's a brush drone and it says uh, the product specifications are, let's have a look, that it's foldable and easy to carry. Mm, yep, okay, GPS positioning, security and anti-lost. I think we get the, the gist of that one. It's got a 4K camera, dual camera and free switching. And it's got 300 meters long distance HD Wi-Fi video transmission. Um, it's powered with a 7.4 1800 milliamp lipo battery that's a two cell and that should it says here give you a flight time of approximately 25 minutes in reality i'd say you're probably looking at 20 but um, especially with these brush motors they're not going to be as good as brushless motors on long journeys i would have thought uh, we'll have to wait to see what the air cooling is like inside. So let's have a quick look in the box and have a quick see what we get. We have a bag, a screwdriver, another one. And we have two sets of props. Not a full set, uh, but enough to, uh, you know, if you just damage one on one, um, on one arm there, you can replace that. We have a very, very good and nice, clear, concise manual in Chinese. Um, unfortunately, I don't read Chinese or Mandarin, so uh, that's a non-starter. However, they have been kind enough to photocopy the English version in a very minuscule way. So I've taken the liberty of scanning all these in PDF and printing them out uh, in a version that I can actually read. So um, I'll go partially through with those uh, those with you um, as we move on for the review but very importantly we've got this um, addendum if you like with the QR codes for the for DRC Pro app so you've got one here for Android and you've got one here for Apple okay let's have a look at the drone itself I've got the three battery version um, just one in here the other batteries on charge at the moment and you can see here it's called the it's called the Noki drone not to be not to be confused with your favorite Italian pasta and if we have a look around here what I like about some of this um, these new designs coming out or, uh, for drones is the design and the form factor and you can see very much it's been styled partly from the Ishin 58 which has the little bit of writing on there I can't quite see what that says uh, I'll try and make that out later the, the lights blocking that as we speak okay so the the camera on here is reputed to be 4k and we also have a downward facing camera and optical flow sensor here and that will be the aerial for the Wi-Fi 5G Wi-Fi I think that is 5G and um, no maybe not it might just be 4G but um, we'll, we'll look into that if it's 4G even better uh, it means you will not you will not need to buy a phone uh, with 80211 AC in the phone specs okay right so 
as with most brush drones, I don't know if you can see there, but you have the motors, they actually lie inboard of the arms and they connect via the, the propeller via a geared system there so uh, be prepared for a little bit of noise that that generates when flying uh, what else can I tell you about there oh yes there you will notice that there is no slot for an SD memory card so any video or photos generated will be sent back via Wi-Fi directly to your phone and you'll be able to access access any photos or video via the storage folder in the app and this battery here is saying it's a uh, 7.4 volt which is 2 cell lipo 2000 milliamp on the on the actual advert it says it's 1800 milliamp so um, we, we'll need to check out what exactly that is but it's uh, fairly hefty um, one good thing about this drone which attracted me uh, to it is the weight um, as you can see the size the physical size is virtually that of a DJI Mavic Pro and I'm referring to the earlier one uh, that um, is no longer produced however the weight of this is only 241 grams can you believe that something so big is um, and that's uh, with the battery so you won't need to uh, register this uh, you can just go out and fly this uh, quite happily okay right onto the transmitter and this is a fairly good design which is coming out you, you don't need a separate screw to hold down the battery hat so you're just pressing that, that uh, little button there and out slots your battery cover and this one takes four AAA 1.4 volt batteries uh, on here you have a fold out section for your mobile phone and that goes quite big I wouldn't say it goes quite tablet size but uh, enough to uh, capture most or keep most mobile phones on off switch here uh, this is your one key to take off uh, this is a gyro calibration button uh, for the GPS this is your return to home and I believe this is your headless mode. Uh, this is your speed trim and if you need to increase your rates uh, then you'll press this side of the button. If you just press this side of the button it will stay in rate 1 or if it's rate 2 it will stay in rate 2. Um, okay so when you're binding the drone you'll turn on the drone first and it's up and down to bind with the throttle stick and to calibrate the drone I think it will be down and to the right uh, to calibrate the GPS or to initiate GPS calibration it's down and to the left with both sticks okay right let's go on to the manual which as I said I did print out scanned in and I printed out so my tired old eyes can actually look at the writing uh, it still didn't come out perfect but um, just about good enough for me to read so it's got all the um, do's and don'ts there translated into English and if you're very good at Chinglish translation uh, this shouldn't really pose a problem for you there you go you've got the main parts of what should be included in the kit that you order and let's have a look at the yes um with some of these brush drones there uh, there is a specific way of of setting out the gps and what have you uh, i refer you to the videos that i made on the ishin 520 s uh very much in that vein uh, i i don't I, i've not aware of 4d rc before it's a company i've never heard of it's possible looking at some of the parts that they're already a subcontractor for another brand that we d we know possibly um okay once again it goes on uh, about uh, battery installation your qr codes then it goes on to details of the app which will be helpful um as we further get into it and we do the test flight 
Okay, so with that all said and done, these are your pages, and as, there's a total of uh, 15 pages there. Okay, and as, as you can see from there, <laughs> the English is not quite correct, is it? But um, as I said many times before, if you've uh, flown these cheaper uh, hobby grade drones before, then uh, deciphering what they actually mean shouldn't really be that hard. Okay, so um, as soon as I get a chance, we we'll go down the field and we we'll give this a test flight. Um, it's looking good. I like the styling. I just hope it performs as it says here in the manual. So we'll see you at the field uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully a good test flight. See you shortly. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to my channel. Thank you for joining me. And you do join me on an end to an absolutely beautiful day here on the south coast of England. Uh, hardly any wind. Well, there is a little bit of wind coming from the southeast. Um, we're sheltered a little bit by these uh, trees along here. Uh, this drone, uh, as I've already gone on during my ramblings in the man cave, is only 240 grams. Uh, for such a big drone, and it is the size of a DJI Mavic Pro, which I also have, it's going to be buffeted around by the slightest of winds. Um, but um, having a, a good couple of tests in the garden, uh, it seems to be it's going to be an excellent performer, and I think this is going to be well worth its money. The app, which you see here, um, it's got lots and lots of different features, and you're going to spend a good few flights uh, getting to know everything that it does. I'm not going to do everything that it can do. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be... Um, quite good the, the only downside I can see so far is that I don't believe it records all the video footage uh, which is why I've started uh, DU recorder uh, on this function here uh, you have ability to take a picture or if you uh, press on this icon you can take a video this is your storage um, and you've got loads of different functions down here as well um, i might try the inverted uh, camera function i won't try the headless or the hopeless mode the gesture uh, photo does actually work i tried it in the garden and it turned out to be a video of about one and a half minutes uh, as the americans would say go figure i don't know but uh, right okay let's go for a little flight of this thing and uh, see how it does Okay, um, we have an optical flow sensor and a downward facing camera. I don't know if you can see that, it's just there, you might just see it flickering. And we're going to try and swap the view. Unfortunately, it involves you getting a view of my head, possibly, which is not a good sight. But uh, there you go, I'm now waving, so you get a downward view from the camera and we'll go back into switch that mode into the front facing camera there we go right uh, the video lag looks quite good you do have beginners mode on this which limits you to 30 meters in height and 30 meters distance and the radius if you wanted to do a radius uh, function with it that is also limited as well. So if you want to go out as far as this, which I believe is now further than 30 meters, you will need to take it off beginner mode and set your own limits. Okay, so now I think I'm looking to the left of us and hopefully up there you can see the view that, that we're getting. Uh, I did have tele telemetry displayed on this screen, but uh, for some reason it's now off. I think that's probably I need to learn the app more a little bit to uh, dis discover all its functions, but this app looks well produced and well thought out. So we go forward a little. I should add that I'm in rate one. If I that is rate two, and that is rate three by activating the top portion of the switch here. 
So that is rate three. That is now going full speed. So it's not overly fast, is it? <laughs> I think the top speed was advertised as 40 kilometers per hour. I'm not quite sure about that. That probably equates to, what is it, about 23 miles an hour, is that? I've probably got that wrong. Okay, this is full speed. And I think I've got the distance set at, I think something like 360 meters. Not quite there yet, but let's turn around and we'll head back. I'm gonna raise the height as well. This is an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, the, the light is absolutely fantastic. So hopefully we should be getting some good images. Right, so what we're going to do is, let's see if we can take a still. I would if the recorder wasn't getting in the way. Is that taking a still? Maybe not. Ah, there we go. Oh, we've, we've taken a still. I'll upload that up to the final video. And let's see where we're going. We're going away from slightly, so we come around to the left. And left again, and... Right, okay, it looks as if I've lost video. Uh, no, I've just received video back, that's good. Ready control, still good. And we're just coming over overhead. Okay, obviously the further you you go out, the more laggy the Wi-Fi reception is going to be. Because don't forget the Wi-Fi, I suspect this is, this is on 2.4 gig, as is the radio control frequency. Uh, they're not exactly the same frequencies, but the further you get out, the more they're going to interact and maybe block out the signal. The radio control frequency will have priority so therefore the further you get away that will block out the uh, Wi-Fi signal. There are Wi-Fi repeaters you can get which you might be able to um, uh, fit on here which might help the Wi-Fi signal uh, extend the range a little bit so let's see if we can take a photograph. Now we did take a photograph it's much delayed by the looks of it. Right. Um, what I'm going to do now is press return to home. Let's see how we get on with this. It's quite high. There we go. It's coming straight back. Cool. Blimey, isn't that going? <laughs> That's going backwards. Wow. That is that is stopped virtually overhead. As it's descending, it appeared to be what we call toilet bowl, toilet bowling a little, which means there was the uh, maybe there wasn't quite the lock on the GPS that there should have been, but it seems to have stead steadied itself now. It seems to be making a good descent. Once again, I don't have any telemetry on here, but there is a facility to display that telemetry on here. And the reason I'm standing here, as opposed to there, I didn't want the sun in the camera view. So here we go, just to show you, I'm not guiding it at all.
Well, what do you think of that for a uh, return to home? You couldn't get much better than that, could you? My DJI Mavic Pro is spot on every time without fail. So if it took off from this little pad, it would land back on that pad. Now for a drone that costs a tenth of the price of a Mavic Pro, uh, probably not even a tenth of a Mavic Pro, I think that's very good. I'm uh, quite impressed with that. So we have a 7.4 volt, 1,000, oh no, sorry, a 2,000 milliamp battery, although it's advertised as 1,800, which I've mentioned before. So in theory, we should get another little flight out of this. So uh, let's just go around for one more little spin. I'll probably go right up over there and um, we'll see if we can do another return to home. That's quite fun to watch that is, and I'm quite impressed with the accuracy. Okay, so hopefully you can see there the red lights on the bottom. That's indicating they've got a good GPS lock. Oh, well, I've not touched it there, and it seems to be, uh, I'm just wondering if it seems to be returning to home. Ah, I'm wondering if perhaps it's a low battery. I now have a red light on here flashing away. It's just hovering there. Yes, the, the lights are flashing at the back. And I've just taken over. And quite frankly, the drone did a better job of returning home than I've just done. <laughs> okay, right, let's stop recording. And as you can see, there's a bit of a delay. Let's bring in D DU Recorder if I can. There we go. Let's press stop on that. Okay, so this is the very first flight of the... Yeah, the lights are flashing there. This is the very first flight of the F3 drone by a company called 4DRC. This one has uh, a name of Noki on it, whether that's Italian or Chinese, I do not know. Um, for the first flight, yes, uh, absolutely uh, brilliant. I'm, I'm quite um, especially impressed with the return to home function on this, especially for such a cheap drone. And I've got this for well, I think it was less than a hundred pound. It was on special offer, of course, like uh, most of the stuff I get. But uh, yes, I hope you enjoy this little flight. Um, I'll do some more flights, and uh, hopefully, uh, if I can digest properly all the contents of the English translation of the manual, um, I'll incorporate those into the next flight and see what um, more functions we can get out of this. But until then. Um, it's a beautiful day here in the southeast coast and uh, hopefully it will continue. We've got some thunder clouds brewing up over there. Hope they miss us uh, over the course of the night, but uh, we'll wait and find out. Okay, stay safe, um, be good, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.